For our final project, we built MuseV, an exploration in mood-based music generation. After looking at prior work in generative models for music, we believed incorporating emotion could greatly increase the quality of samples that can be generated. This is because the content of music is almost universally intended to evoke emotional responses, and so encoding this information can help produce samples with consistent tone throughout. We model emotion as an observed latent variable consisting of valence and arousal. Valence is the type of emotion, that is, happy or sad. Arousal, on the other hand, is the intensity of that emotion. Luckily, we're able to find a dataset consisting of a thousand labeled songs from the Free Music Archive. Now, our goal was to learn latent representations of music conditioned on mood, in order to be able to sample from some learned distribution. We use we then process raw audio sequences along with their labels with gated recurrent units and a fully connected layer in order to output parameters for the latent distribution. This is then used to generate samples by unrolling with GRU, GRUs again. Of course, we use the standard Nelbo objective combined with a mean squared error term for our regressor. After training and generating samples, we then analyzed the spectrograms of our samples as a proxy for understanding the quality of these samples. On the left, you can see the variance in amplitudes of the wavelets with respect to valence. A similar correlation can be observed with the generated versus real-world samples, generally a, a sort of weak positive correlation. On the right, we can see high arousal versus lower arousal amplitude values for generated samples. So in the end, we can see that the model is able to learn some basic semantic things about music and mood and how they're related to one another. The project shows promise for models to learn some of the meaning behind music and eventually be able to generate clean and consistent audio.